it's not real. It's not reality. It's not what life is all about. It's, you know, screaming fans and paparazzis everywhere. You know, it's it's not real. So he's living this artificial life out there, you know, and uh, probably has a, it doesn't even know what real life is yet. You know, uh, it's like a snow globe. It gets shaken up and, you know, it's, it's going to have to settle before he finds his purpose and his meaning in life. Mine is family and friends. And, I, and it's pretty much that's what it is for everybody. But uh, until you have the right, you know, friends uh, and you don't listen to your family, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard to transition in normal life into being an adult from a kid. Imagine trying it in Bieber's life. Yeah. It's right. I mean, you see that the images of him walking out and these people just throwing themselves at him. I remember seeing pictures like that of Michael Jackson mm -hmm. and thinking that's a frightening way to live at the same time too. Yes. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, you know, people are left and right, you know, screaming and, and coming at you. It'll definitely stop for him. Uh, unfortunately for him, you know, more people are tuned in and want to see him kind of self-destruct than they really care about his new single or his movie. Um, so, you know, it's it's just the way it goes. It's a transition period. You know, uh, I had a weekend that lasted a few years. You know, you think of Britney Spears. She shaves her head. She loses her kids, has problems with Federline. You know, there's a transitional period there that is just, you know, uh, escalated uh, out of, you know, just being the celebrity and uh, having all this artificial life I was talking about around yeah. you. So once that snow globe settles, he'll figure it out from there. You know, you kind of have to uh, mm -hmm. ride the, the wave until it crashes into the shore. Uh, for me, I'm happy because I swam out and caught another wave. But uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hey, you know, everything hey man, is that's, funny a good, that's, a, that's a good Every, everything point. Everything is funny what he's doing except for the, the you know drinking and driving that's, yeah. that's right. just not yeah cool. that's seriously a, a, a crime and it's it could have hurt someone let me get Jeff he Gardier here, here. Jeff, Jeff, you know, it, Jeff yeah. let me get you in here I want to ask about you know I use the word unstoppable but give us an idea psychologically having these girls scream your name everyone who is around you works for you and lives off your success it would be tough for anyone not to feel invincible and unstoppable in that environment well, absolutely. Uh, Rob, uh, I think, hit it uh, right on the uh, head when he said that you're going through this transition at the age of 19. Now, think about a 19-year-old uh, who's in still in the teen rebellion phase, still going through the maturational phases, uh, and that's difficult by itself. But now you're doing it in front of the world, and then you have all of this reinforcement for your bad behavior, because no matter what you do, everybody still loves you. You're fans still love you, though we in the media and other folks who are a little bit more mature are laughing at this young man, which I think is kind of sad in itself because you don't want to kick someone while they're down. But the problem with him, as it was with Rob, as it was with many people, is that you're surrounded when you're a superstar, you're surrounded by all of these yes people. And what they need to be surrounded by are family, friends, and the people who can say no to you. Those are the things that you need need to get you through uh, an incredible life such as the one that he's living right now. Yeah. Okay, so Paul, let's bring you into this because uh, the legal system may be the ones that say no to him. Yeah. And what is the, the big question I think a lot of people are wondering is, I mean, this kid is Canadian. What is the plausibility that he could get deported because of this? Well, I think it's unlikely that he will be deported on this, but obviously unless he gets his life together, uh, he's, uh, he's on a bad road. And a lot of these celebrities, when they get into trouble with drugs and alcohol, it's very destructive. And it's a judge in the end who says, you know, I don't care how famous you are, you're going to jail. Um, he's probably going to get by on this one. There's one count involving uh, the resisting arrest that could be a little problematic. I, uh, I was speaking to a, a well-known immigration lawyer in Boston, Rachel Self, who was telling me that that could be a crime of moral turpitude. The other problem is, and this is more immediate, if he goes back to Canada, coming into the United States is considered a privilege. Uh, he could be denied entrance at the border if a consular official of the U.S. in Canada felt he was unworthy of admission. So uh, because of drugs or alcohol or the egging incident in California or whatever and whatever else may lie in the future. So he's got to be careful if he wants to keep working in the United States. Mm. Hey, Rob, have you reached out to Justin Bieber? And uh, if you were to, to speak with him, what would you tell him? 
Absolutely. I actually know Justin Bieber. He's a good kid. He's just lost right now. He's running with some bad influences. Uh, I'm not making excuses for him, but, you know, he's young and dumb right now. <laughs> And uh, not really listening to anybody. But one thing about money is it doesn't make you smart. Uh, my re um, advice for him is to come on to the Vanilla Ice Project, and we'll show him uh, what some hard work is all about. We'll trade the liquor for some coffee and get up at you know 5 a.m. and make things happen and find a purpose in life. And uh, maybe eventually he'll find a nice lady and settle down and, and figure out the best thing in life, which is family and friends. Victor, Amen. could I just say one thing to Vanilla Ice? Very quickly, yeah. Ice, I just wanted to say, Ice, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you. he hasn't yes. heard that before, right? This We've is a marker for Paul Callen. Uh, oh, thank you oh, all. Paul, uh, Paul, 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 it's Ice, Ice, baby. Yes, <laughs> thank sorry, you. Ice, Gotta get it right. Ice, baby. Thank you.